On Monday, North of 60 fans across Canada and the world felt distraught over the death of one of our own. Wilma Pelly played Elsie Sache, TV's loving Etsu or grandmother. Um, yeah, as Kiara mentioned, um, she passed away Monday, December 28th. Um, she was 83 years old. Um, she was born March 5th, uh, 1937. And sorry if I mispronounce uh, this, Muscow Patung Saltau First Nation um, in Saskatchewan. In the Quipel Valley. Yes. In Saskatchewan. Yeah. Thanks. Um, she eventually made her home in Calgary, Alberta. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't, you know, we got to be honest, we don't really know a lot about her, the details of her life. We mostly know her from her role on North of 60. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, she's a veteran of all six seasons of North of 60, plus all five movies. Um, and also her other known, best known roles are in Mixed Blessings, as well as the second season of Fargo. She's also done many other TV shows and movie roles. Yeah, she has a very long, successful career um, mm -hmm. in the movie and on screen. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, on television and on screen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously we all feel the loss extremely. Um, as, uh, um, as I mentioned, we know her mostly from North of 60, so I thought we'd just kind of describe, since our show is related to that, um, we'd kind of describe briefly what her role was on North of 60. Um, mm -hmm. Like Kiara mentioned, she was the grandmother of TV. Um, uh, yes, TV, Tanya, and also Marie Tanya and Jesse Miller. Mm -hmm. uh, and the mother of Lois Tanya. Yeah. Uh, Mother-in-law of Harris Miller. Yeah, and, um, and uh, we knew her as kind of the cute but sometimes fiery um, elder mm -hmm. uh, in the community. Um, oh, she was so sneaky <laughs> yeah when she wanted to be she really could be manipulative which is you know it was really kind of a um um you know like it was she was almost like a wolf in sheep's clothing right like you wouldn't expect that from her to look at her but she uh she really could get her way sometimes in some really uh sneaky ways she loved her family yeah, oh, yeah. Um, and she would stick up to them for them um, no I, matter what she had this amazing presence though on screen of just mm -hmm. um making everybody feel like her family i i don't know about all of you guys but for us she definitely feels almost like an yeah, honorary we... grandmother for, um type figure for sure so and I'm sure she does from most fans in North of 60. Uh, um, there has been a, an amazing outpouring on Facebook I've noticed obviously uh, um, about her death and uh, you know the condolences for the family and uh, yes and we did get permission from her family before making the, vi uh, the video using her pictures yeah we felt just so everybody knows in case uh, anybody was wondering we did ask permission before using her pictures. So, on a brighter note, um, I thought we would mention maybe, maybe each of our favorite scenes. Yeah, and then we'd honestly love to hear from you guys. We love just thinking now of going back and thinking of some of our favorite Elsie moments. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not. Well, I think, and I described this on Facebook, some people probably saw it, but my favorite and most emotional moment with Elsie and or scene is when TV um, flees town I believe it's when he was chief one of the times and things go wrong and he just kind of um, takes a flight out of town really quick and Elsie doesn't realize you know, doesn't know when she that he's coming back or anything so you see her just sit on the you know the old van bench that they have down by the um, airstrip mm -hmm. and she just kind of stares, you know, and looks, and they show the look on her face, and it's just... Oh, uh, that was... This oh. look, the look of dismay, you know, that she's... She... Um, she doesn't know when he's coming back. She you know, acted... She's worried about him, you know. With and, just a simple look. Yeah, was, and that makes me probably break up. Um, I'm actually starting to well up a little bit now. <laughs> now you're, um, yeah, you're getting me too. But um, that makes me cry more than any scene, I think, in... 
in uh, the entire show, um, let alone, you know, any LC scene. Okay, well, you put a really emotional one. I'm going to do, I'm going to change the subject here, and we're going to go for a funny one. Now, um, I think, I, um, I'm pretty sure that yeah, this is from season one, too. So we're going to go way back for this one. Back when Eric was still roaming Lynx River. Mm -hmm. Now, my favorite scene is right after TV burnt his butt on that <laughs> snowmobile. And Elsie is teasing him. He's got that cute nurse and there, Leslie, that yeah. he likes. And Elsie is just like trying so hard not to laugh she's yeah. like you burnt his bum <laughs> yeah the way she says it and the look that she has on her face just makes you really crack up and, uh, you know um, in the moment and you then, know that uh, and then she, it was in uh, and then she pinches his butt <laughs> and he's ow yeah that was a good one so, and it's you know it kind of reminds you of how um you know, she she could be funny too as well. You know, she had a lot of different sides to her character, mm -hmm. and she yeah. because uh, she Wilma was such a great movie. actress, she you know really brought those out. And she was absolutely stunning, uh, as um, we posted on the Facebook page. Uh, we picked that specific picture, and just. I'm gonna talk about it just because I'm absolutely in love with that picture. Yeah, when she's wearing the fur. It, um, yeah, it's, it's actually we cropped it, but you know you'll see it in the slideshow. You'll the see the full, full picture. One, yes. It's with her and Michelle Thrush. Yes, you'll see the full one and the cropped one is at the end because again, it's just my absolute favorite. She is in the furs. It's and nice she to looks see. She so beautiful. You know, that, um, her in the traditional dress, mm -hmm. you know, it was kind of nice to see, you know, because we always see her in the, uh, the more, you know, um, I guess Canadianized dress, um, that she'd wear for the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she'd always, she'd almost always have her hair covered, and whenever she didn't, it was generally like in braids or mm -hmm. something like that, so it was also nice to see her hair just down, and she just looked beautiful, and natural and stunning well um so i guess we should go into a closing um we you know we could talk about her all day all the great scenes that she had and everything but we don't want to ramble on mm -hmm. um but like as i mo mentioned on my one post on facebook um we all we all feel the loss of this um and you could see by the outpouring like i said that you know she was obviously loved by all um looking for photos on this and some of the photos that you know, Kiara was the one that actually looked for them um, I'm not going to take credit but um, she um, you know all the, the pictures she showed me or most of them she had just this great smile on her face oh, um, it, it, yes. very infectious uh, smile you know it, yeah, it makes you smile just to yeah, look at it, the pictures. I was just about to say that as soon as you see her smiling it, you're filled with this warmth that just overcomes you and makes you want to smile too. Mm -hmm. I think that she was obviously a role model and an elder in the community not just on the show but you know in real life like she um, people looked up to her um, mm -hmm. and you know she had some tough times at the end it seems like um, we're not exactly yeah. sure of all her health she had yeah, she did have but, some, uh, um, some health issues for years prior but um, you know she she seemed to be always upbeat and you know we're hoping that she's in a better place now and we're always going to remember her for the, the great times that we have watching the show and how great she was on the show and in other movies and like i said seeing pictures of her and stuff so that's great that we have those to remember her by um so yeah um thanks for joining us um it's hard to know how to close this, um, but uh, we appreciate her family giving us permission. Um, it was her daughter Stella um, who gave us permission to do this. Um, so thank you very much, and um, we'll see you on our next show. And lots of love to Wilma, Ellie, yeah. and family. Yeah, our personal condolences, and rest in peace, Wilma.